for things like cussing and disrupting the classroom. The group say the district's expulsion rate is nearly 19 times the average. We'll check your drive on the 101 in just a moment. Navigating Medicare can be, well, overwhelming, and usually it is. So I'm going to suggest you contact the folks at AGA Medicare Options and uh, you get educated about what's going on with uh, Medicare. Uh, every situation is unique. Uh, your, your budget, uh, which doctors you go to, what you're paying for medication, and this is where AGA comes in. Uh, they have a free dinner and educational Medicare seminar coming up. There'll be no enrollments, no sales. Uh, leave your checkbook, uh, your checkbook, bring your appetite. And they will advise you step by step on a plan that fits you. Upcoming events include Mission Viejo, Santa Ana, Irvine, Los Angeles. Look online for the full list of dates and locations. Dial pound 250 on your cell and just say, My Medicare. Pound 250 on the cell, say, My Medicare. It's a free dinner and a seminar near you so you know what's going on. Visit agamedicareoptions.com, agamedicareoptions.com. Here's SoCal weather from KFI. It's a mostly sunny day ahead and mild. Tides will just be in the 60s at the beaches to the low 70s inland, and it looks like we'll have more of the same tomorrow. Let's take a look at that drive on the 101. Good morning, Jeff Baugh. <laughs> Well, good morning, Jennifer, and hi to you. Yes, indeed. If you were listening for a while now, I know Nick was talking about these East 101 uh, coming out of the West Valley. From around Balboa is all gone. When we flew over, there was a couple of flares still burning. Okay. But don't you worry. Everybody's still moving over to the 405. Now, if you do continue over towards uh, the 134, 170, 101 interchange, all that, there was a problem at Tahunga. There was a terrible crash there last week, but now nothing. Now, South Hollywood Freeway. Still in pretty good shape, but I want to caution you, Hollywood Boulevard is still shut down. They still got a lot of work to do there. We just flew over and took a look, a lot of activity going on. But Hollywood Boulevard closed Highland to Orange. We'll let you know when that reopens. Right now, it's not an issue, even using the Highland off-ramp. But later on this morning, if you're still at home listening, uh, make sure you listen to us before you get going. So when that closes, it, uh, it could really create some problems. Santa Monica Freeway is just turning uh, west now. It's getting busy, that's for sure, but looks like all lanes open. Jeff Baugh, KFI in the sky. Being a firefighter takes courage. Antelope Valley College's fire technology degrees and certificates are designed to train you in the latest firefighting techniques. Whether you're looking to enter the industry or professional looking to upgrade your skills and paycheck, visit abc.edu today. Imagine air travel that's simple, hassle-free, and fast. That's the experience of chartered flights with Surf Air. Return to the skies with an air travel experience you'll actually enjoy. Save hours on every trip, avoid busy terminals, and fly between small airports closer to your home. No crowds, no long lines, no stress. Surf Air charter flights are the most convenient alternative to commercial air travel. Get a free quote on your next flight at surfair.com. There's a better way to fly. Owning a business comes with pressure. There's a limit to what I can do and still keep employees engaged. Fortunately, there's Insperity. They put 30 plus years of HR experience to work to help me with hiring, training, HR administration, and compliance, while giving my employees competitive benefit options. And because I'm able to focus on other priorities, my employees can thrive and my business can grow. With Insperity, nothing seems impossible. Insperity, HR that makes a difference. your car today with 1877 Cars for Kids. We're a recognized 501c3 charity organization, so you'll receive a maximum tax deduction. What's more, you'll receive a vacation voucher of three days and two nights. Also on the web at carsforkids.com. 1877 Cars for Kids. Donate your car today. Now accepting donations of land, homes, buildings, or any kind of real estate. This month, it's just crazy not to watch college hoops at Morongo. Just one man's humble opinion. And now, the top five reasons to visit Morongo. Number five. Party down in the pit. All players at your table could win up to $100 in promo chips from 6 p.m. to 2 a.m. Friday. Number four. The legendary band War. Live May 27th. Get your tickets now. Three. New charging station. New Fresh fruit giveaway. Get a K-Cup parasol when you earn 500 points on your rewards card for 28 or 29. And the number one reason. It's Oasis Pool Park It Con. Get access to the pool, free slot play, and a lucky hat with 
when you book a room. Call 888 Morongo now. Morongo Casino Resort and Spa. Morongo. Good times. I'm attorney Darren Cavanoke from 1-800-NO-CUFFS. Can you do the alphabet backwards? Z, Y, X, W, V. Yeah, try doing that by the side of the road. So if you get pulled over, don't wing it. Call us at 1-800-NO-CUFFS. Termite problem? Search PacificCoastTermite.com or call 800-PACIFIC. For official rules and more information about contests on this station, go to KFIAM640.com slash rules. KFIAM640. More stimulating talk. Uh, Bill Handel here on a Tuesday morning, March 29th, and uh, we continue with Handel on the News. Jennifer Jones, Lee, Wayne is out this week, and me. All right. When President Biden said over the weekend that Russian President Putin <laughs> cannot remain in power, he clarified yesterday to say, it wasn't then nor now am I articulating a policy change. He said, I was expressing the moral outrage that I felt, and I expressed no apologies for my personal feelings. Well, it, it, I think it's true that he feels that I think way. It's true as well. There's no question about that. But his campaign, in his campaign, he was saying words that a president utters matter. Yes. They matter a lot. So when he said, uh, Putin must go, or we don't want, you know, he cannot be there. I'm paraphrasing the exact uh, nine words uh, that he said. And it's, you know, what do you do with that? How is that not a policy change? Because the United States had never, ever even suggested that there be regime change and Putin go, uh, even, I guess, pushing for an election for Putin to go, which he can't um, because he, he got control. And so I like what the president said. He goes, wait a minute. I'm just going to go. That's not a policy change. Our Paul is still the same. I, I'm just speaking as an individual. But he's not an individual. He's the president. And that's the problem is that what's going to happen is that phrase is going to be copy and pasted all oh, yeah. across Russian media to show that it's the West that is the provocator and that they want Putin out. And there is in no way, I assume, that that President, Claire, uh, president Biden's clarification will make it anywhere in Russian media. Oh, no, 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 of course not. But uh, here's what Putin's going to say. And I believe that he believes that the United States wants him out. And he to get rid of him. All it does is solidify his thinking. Right. And he is going to go to the Russian public and say, hey, look at this. They're trying, you uh, elected me democratically. Uh, and they're trying to undo our business. So therefore, it leads into uh, the argument again, and it, it actually, I think, is the best thing for Russia, for Putin to have him said that. Also, we've got breaking yeah, news, yeah. too, about that situation. Yeah, Russia's military claims it will fundamentally cut back its operations near Kiev to what it says increase trust in talks. Now, here's the thing, though. If you remember... What, a week ago? Uh, two weeks ago, I guess? It had a 40-mile convoy headed straight for Kiev. So is this a goalpost change? Is this uh, a sign that, in fact, the Russian forces did not do as well as they expected to do? And so they're having to change their mission to accomplish what goals it thinks it can accomplish. Yes. In taking the Donbass region now, which is... Well, they've always wanted the Donbass region uh, and the two independent republics that they are recognizing, in quotes. Uh, but Putin said he wants all of Ukraine. We're moving for all of Ukraine because Ukraine is not an independent country. It's part of Russia. And so, uh, we didn't go there anyway. Uh, you know, we're, uh, that's not where we wanted to go. Never mind. Uh, mainly because they're getting their asses kicked. And you're right. I mean, it's just, it's a standing joke around the world, except in Russia. Oh, absolutely. Except in Russia, they're buying it lock, stock, and barrel. Later on, I'm going to do a story about. Uh, how Putin is controlling the internet and how international companies are helping him do it. And uh, yeah, that's uh, coming up uh, at 7.30. The Pentagon may have to ask Congress for additional money to help support Ukraine's battle against the Russian invasion. And that would include replenishing America's arsenal for weapons 
that we sent to Kiev, which makes sense because where are all these arms coming from? Coming from us. We have to replenish our coffers with the things that are going over there. So at this point, the leader said it was too early to predict how the Ukrainian forces would use the weapons and ammo that's already been provided. But I don't assume that if they don't use everything, they send it back. I don't think so. I, I'll bet you they keep it. Right. And for so, defensive, uh, uh, a defensive de a defensive position. Absolutely. So once it's sent over there, it's just gone. We have to assume that. I think that. so. And the Pentagon, well, this, the budget was uh, introduced prior to the invasion. So uh, there was no anticipation of uh, Ukraine sucking up and voluntarily the United States providing it, but taking all of the javelin missiles, anti-tank weapons, uh, support, because so there's body armor, uh, there's trucks, I mean, there's everything that we're providing. And, uh, and you're right, it has to come from someplace. So what do you do? You have to buy more, but it's not in the budget. What do you do? So uh, the Pentagon says, we need more, and uh, we, want, we need an emergency measure. The uh, United States uh, just, uh, I think it was the president, yeah, it was the president, directive, uh, 13 and a half billion dollars more yeah. in aid, 13 and a half billion, where does that come from? Comes from your pocket, my pocket, and I'm okay with it. Oh, absolutely. All right, uh, Ukrainian peace negotiators, ay, ay, ay. So this was last month on March 3rd. You had these negotiators go to the table, right? They say, three of them, after they went to this meeting, all of them ate chocolate at this meeting and all developed symptoms that were poisoning-like symptoms after they engaged in these recent talks. And now, the defense minister is telling anybody who goes to these Russian-Ukrainian negotiations, don't eat anything, don't drink anything, and if at all possible, don't touch any surfaces. Personally, I don't know that that's the best feeling going into a peace talk. Yeah, I, yeah just the doorknob. Remember what they did yes. in England yes. uh, with the father and daughter? Yes. And they put poison on the doorknob. That, that, and killed one, and the other one uh, was in the hospital for months. Uh, yeah, that's a Russian, God bless them. But you, you have to know something's amiss when they're eating chocolate and uh, the Russians are looking back going, no, no, thank you. Uh, no, 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 you go ahead. Yeah. Uh, not interested. I'm not a chocolate lover. And you go to the next time, I'm not a chocolate lover. Uh, no thanks. No thanks. Here, you have it. Uh, something's wrong, but it, it, this looks like, I mean, the symptoms, as described, look like a form of chemical weapon that was used. Isn't that fun? Those pesky Russians. <laughs> Coming up, more handle on, on the news. Here we go. Jennifer Jones Lee live in the KFI 24-hour newsroom. Ukraine's calling on world leaders to find enough courage to help the country defend itself. President Zelensky claims they're an accomplice if they are too afraid to provide weapons like planes and tanks. More people say they've been, they've been sick with COVID at some point. There's a new poll from Monmouth University that puts the number at 52%. That's up from 12% in late January. And the NFL has made a new commitment to diversity. Every football team will now be required to have a minority or a woman as an assistant coach to work on offense. We'll take a look at your drive on the 405 in just a moment. If you have loose missing the KT, uh, your mouth looks horrible. Now, you had a pass during the pandemic if you wore a mask. Now, not so much anymore. So there you are back to that horrible mouth and you don't think people notice. Oh, trust me, they notice. And so let me suggest uh, doing something about it and really changing your life uh, with uh, the Cunning Dental Clinic and the new permanent teeth in a day. I mean, you wake up with a brand new permanent smile, like a forever smile, beautiful. Take pictures now, smiling, eat the foods you want to eat, never have another dental procedure again. That's what the new permanent teeth in a day procedure is. While you sleep, and uh, they're offering the biggest discount ever, Cunning Dental is offering you $2,000 off that uh, procedure, and this expires April 30th, restriction supply, and you can always call for a free exam, x-rays, and CT scan. Call 888-640-SMILE, 888-640-SMILE, 888-640-SMILE. From the HMS Capital Weather Center, we've got a mostly sunny day ahead with highs from the low 60s to right at 70. This report is brought to you by Mattress Firm. Let's take a look at that drive on the 405. Part of it anyway, coming out of the San Fernando Valley, uh, South 405, boy, I really moved up early. 
uh, pretty much a little bit south of Roscoe. That's where everything starts. The morning drive, that's, uh, that's all it is. All ends are up and ends fell up to the top of the hill. We flew uh, from the Santa Monica side up through the pass. So I can assure you the downhill side looking uh, pretty good, but off to a slow start. Even the uh, eastbound 101 still slow for coming away from Tampa. There was a problem at Balboa. It's long gone, so at least all lanes are open. And just a reminder, we're heading up to the New Hall Pass, by the way. I think there's a problem in the truck lanes up there. But a reminder for Hollywood. Hollywood Boulevard is still shut down. They're still trying to clean it up. So uh, Highland to Orange, that's the closure. And watch that Highland off ramp. More coming up. Jeff Baugh, KFI in the sky. Mattress Firm's best deals are happening now. Save up to $500 on top-selling brands. Plus, get a free adjustable base with qualifying purchases. And don't forget hot buys like up to 50% off select queen beds. Shop now and save. This report is sponsored by personal injury firm Owen, Patterson & Owen. I'm Susan Owen, managing partner at Owen, Patterson & Owen. I have 30 plus years in personal injury alone. If you are a client of Owen, Patterson & Owen, I will be your attorney. You can enter code 888 Oak Hill Law. And we do. Go to Oak Rick Caruso has a plan to tackle the homelessness crisis. First, Caruso will conduct a top-to-bottom audit and cancel wasteful projects. Caruso will hire 500 new sanitation workers. He will dramatically increase mental health and addiction services. And Caruso will start converting vacant properties into affordable housing on day one. No more excuses. No more wasting time. Rick Caruso can clean up L.A. Paid for by Rick Caruso for Mayor 2022. Additional information is available at ethics.lacity.org. Have you used your free at-home COVID test and aren't sure where to turn next? Mario Lopez here, and I can safely say that COVID Clinic can help you. With locations all around the country, COVID Clinic can help you and your family stay safe with regular testing. They offer no cost to patient testing and PCR tests with same-day results. With a large stock of PCR tests, you'll never have to worry about not being able to be tested, offering true peace of mind. So find a location nearest you and register for your PCR test today at covidclinic.org. As a marketer, you want to reach everyone, adults, teens, millennials, but it's not like these groups all hang out in the same place, right? Actually wrong. They're all right here, listening to radio commercials just like this one. Radio ads connect with 93% of Americans every week. That's more than Google, more than Facebook, more than TV. In fact, radio reaches 20% more millennials than TV. Want more of the people you want to talk to all in one place? Visit iHeart Advertising advertising.com and get AMFM working for you. That's iHeartAdvertising.com. If you're suffering from stabbing pain, numbness, cramping, tingling, or burning in your feet, legs, or hands, you may be experiencing neuropathy. Neuropathy is caused by damage to nerves and it impacts the lives of millions of Americans. If you are suffering from neuropathy and have been prescribed a medication like Lyrica, Neurontin, or Gabapentin, there may be an alternative. Highly trained doctors are using a cutting edge treatment to slow and often reverse the disease without addictive medications. If you're tired of living in pain, then call 855 4 Get Well. That's 855, the number 4, Get Well. There's no surgery or prescription drugs. Don't wait to get relief. Call 855, the number 4, Get Well. That's 855 4 Get Well. The first 25 callers will receive a full exam and in depth consultation absolutely free. I have one friend. Uh, I would say, hey, uh, you want to come over for dinner? And he'd say, what are you having? What? You eat the crap weed. What are you, what are we having? The Tim Conway Jr. Show. We beg today. What's your mom making? The same crab at your house is over here on KFI. <laughs> Forty. Bill Handel here on a Tuesday morning, March 29th, as we finish Handel on the news. Jennifer Jones Lee, when not uh, here this week, and me. Have you heard of Bagheera? I have not. I hadn't either, but apparently he is Russia's most feared and admired sniper. A she. A she, sorry. And she apparently uh, was wounded and left behind by her unit, and Ukraine claims that it has captured her. This is a fascinating woman, uh, a world-class handball player, a super athlete, a nun. <laughs> she turned nun. And then she becomes the best sniper in all of Russia. Uh, just uh, You couldn't make this stuff up. She was born in Serbia. 
She's been a pro-Russia fighter in Ukraine since 2014, and they say she's killed at least four dozen people in the last eight years. Which I assume, since she's their sniper, she's taking out the big rig. She's not just in the, you know, day-to-day -day combat. You would think she's probably on special assignments, special missions. Uh, yeah, that makes sense. Right. It's, a, it's a, I wouldn't say it's a great story, it's just a fascinating, it's fascinating. Yeah. Yeah. There's a movie there. Oh, absolutely. All right, there's a popular Russian oh. cartoon, apparently, that does a lot of satire, kind of comparable to South Park kind of thing, where it's sarcastic take on life. It's been banned by President Putin's government, and its creator now says he's in hiding. He told BuzzFeed he finds himself in the midst of an information storm, and he's not used to it as an animator. So imagine, imagine South Park trying to, because it tries to do everything that's in the news, in the headlines. How do you do a South Park that doesn't offend Russia if you want to have fun with, I don't even know how to say that, but have fun with or, or do a satirical take on the Russia invading Ukraine? How do you do that? Uh, you don't anymore. Well, no, obviously. obviously. Now it's, uh, it's just disinformation, misinformation, you're punching out, fake news. Oh, I like the authorities would consider it some kind of news, and it's up to 15 years in jail. Yeah. And uh, who's going to take a chance? It's done. No. Now, a lot of these outlets, for example, news outlets, I mean, they're closing down without being forced to close down simply out of fear. So he's, um, he's running around someplace. And how would you know if what you were putting out was being considered misinformation or disinformation by or, Russia? Yeah. Or, or because it's pure satire. Right. You just think it's funny. is just funny. Right. Yeah. All right, we have a truck convoy headed our way. And uh, so apparently a group of truck drivers protesting the COVID-19 mandate will head to California next week. It's part of the People's Convoy. This is the one that was in Washington, D.C. And the convoy was there in Washington, D.C. on hopes of snarling traffic just to let the Capitol Beltway kind of know how they felt. The group has stayed at the Hagerstown Speedway for the last three weeks. And apparently it is headed here to protest bills coming up for votes soon, and they are saying if these bills are passed, it'll set the stage for states to introduce similar laws when it comes to the COVID-19 mandate. Uh, yeah. Okay. And? Do you think they'll snarl traffic here? Uh, I, yeah, it, the ones that do, because it takes, they're looking at a, a bridge or a major highway, uh, it takes four trucks across it, and you've blocked uh, traffic. It doesn't take much, but... Here are the people that are going. I mean, think about this. You talk about people that are uh, truly committed. You get to go on your own. You pay for the gas. Uh, you're losing that amount of work. I mean, that is a big commitment. And if I were the governor or I was a city official in any truck that is blocking traffic, here's a warning, here's a warning, and we bring out the cranes and whip the truck up hopefully with the driver in it and put it onto the side of the road and going there you are why don't you come back and we'll do this again i have a quick story for you when i was a kid when i was in elementary school uh there were six or eight boys who came down and tp'd my house and my dad was a heavy equipment uh, mechanic he comes home with his boom truck he pulls up the driveway and he sees all these bicycles parked at the end of our driveway. And he sees the house is toilet papered from one end to the other. He takes the kid's bike and grabs a belt off his truck for one of the uh, pieces of heavy equipment it is. He uh, takes the bikes, puts them on the belt, and hoists them up on his boom. So the boys had to come to the door and knock on the door to get their bikes back. Oh. And he, but at least he didn't crush them. He did not crush them, but I like the way you're thinking, because it yeah. is possible. Oh, yeah. See, I would just take a steamroller and die. Uh... <laughs> Airbnb apparently just, just uh, deploys its AstroTurf army. I did not know that they had an AstroTurf army. Well, I mean, that's what they call it, but it's a, a major corporation telling all of its minions and followers and employees and friends, send out this email to your elected official. The problem is, it's always the same email. They're identical. So the officials, and I've talked to elected officials, don't pay attention to it. 
Because like, ah, this is the same yeah, one we got last week. Yeah, the same one. This is, uh, these aren't real constituents, especially when you get emails from Jordan uh, and France. Stop this right now. What are you doing? You know, so... Now, if they had, to, uh, if they had started a genuine grassroots effort, effort, and let's say Airbnb gets thousands of these, they turn around and really start paying attention. Sure. Uh, not on this one. So anyway, uh, their astroturf army is what they call it. That all they have to do is say, hey, send this to uh, a congressperson, a state senator, to the White House, and all of a sudden, tens of thousands of these show up. You know, do you think real people really care? Probably not. No, I, think, I don't think so. And this, by the way, is to try and combat the short-term rental regulation. Yes. And, uh, oh, to yeah. Down and this had to do with the Planning Commission in San Diego. Yeah. Uh, that is limiting uh, the uh, short-stay uh, short policy. Oh, They're cutting down on the number of, uh, of short stays. I mean, the longer the stay, obviously more tenancy. But you know, people rent these places for two days, or two nights, three nights, and throw huge parties and destroy the house and neighborhood. That's the problem. It's not just you and I running a house, a vacation house for a weekend or something like that. These uh, oftentimes turn into these, I'm sure very fun, but not for the neighbors parties. Yeah, nice and rowdy neighbors, just what you need. Oh, yeah. Hey, uh, so apparently, cops in Florida seized enough guns for what they say would uh, put weapons for a small army from rowdy spring breakers. And remember, they've been trying to crack down on spring breakers in Florida, especially after what we saw last year, where it was just kind of a COVID cesspool, which was really gross. Even though nobody was supposed to be going out and whatever, everybody flocked to Florida. And then there were all kinds of craziness on the streets because... People finally got let out of their, you know, COVID cages, a.k.a. their houses, and they went nuts. And this year, even though they have tried to contain this, they say that they are still grabbing guns from people. People, 75 from them in a spring break breach of a, a town just this past weekend alone. 75 guns. Well, yeah, we saw the video of all those revelers at the beach during COVID. Oh, and in the yeah. pool. And, the pool. and uh, yeah. only wearing uh, swim shorts. So it's body-to-body contact because that's the best way, of course, to spread cooties is body-to-body. So, uh, life in the United States continues with spring break. You ever go to spring break? No, I don't work during spring yeah, break. I never did. I was just not interested. First of all, no one would ever invite me. And uh, then you're by yourself and you don't have to worry about getting COVID, right? You're all alone off in the corner. Coming up, uh, the governor orders tighter water conservation rules, and I'm going to explain why what he's doing makes almost no sense. This is KFI AM 640 Live everywhere on the iHeartRadio app. Mood enhancing, pharmacy grade stimulating talk. KFI. KOST Still headed toward the end zone. I'm Jennifer Jensen, live from the KFI 24 hour newsroom. Russia's defense minister says his country's military will continue the operation in Ukraine until the set goals are achieved. He says liberating the Donbas region in Ukraine is the main goal. The defense minister met with top military officials today. He says the combat potential of the Ukrainian armed forces has been significantly reduced, making it possible to focus on the Donbas region. The Russian Foreign Ministry has accused the U.S. and its allies of hacking Russian data and infrastructure. It also says the U.S. and NATO members trained Ukrainian hackers and tried to recruit international hackers. The ministry says the attacks include stealing Russia's personal data, putting pressure on the economy, and spreading fake information about the Russian military. After Will Smith has used Instagram to apologize to comedian Chris Rock for slapping him across the face during the Academy Awards. Smith said in part, violence in all its forms is poisonous and destructive, and that his behavior at Sunday Night's Academy Awards was unacceptable and inexcusable. Rock was poking fun at Smith's wife, who had recently shaved her head because of a medical condition. Smith walked on stage and... Smith also followed up with some F-bombs. The Motion Picture Academy says it's reviewing the whole thing to figure out if there should be any consequences for Smith's actions. See Gregory Kaye News. 
The LA City Fire Department's Swift Water Rescue Team has saved a homeless woman, her dog, and a man who tried to help after all three got caught in the LA River. Captain Eric Scott says the dog fell into the river yesterday afternoon near the Sepulveda Dam and was swept all the way to Studio City. These leeches are a little lower in frequency and at times higher in risk when we get the fast moving water and we have to do helicopter voice down. That puts those firefighter paramedics in harm's way. Scott says the woman tried to save the dog but had to be rescued. A short time later, a man jumped in to help, but the dog bit him, and he too had to be rescued. The dog was in the water for more than two hours before it was rescued. You can see photos of the rescues on our website, kfiam640.com. The LA County DA's office is shining a new light on murder cases that have gone dark. The DA's office says communities not trusting the criminal justice system is one of the reasons they go unsolved. The DA's advisor, Tiffany Blacknell, says the office is creating advisory boards to form relationships with different communities. We've only built out 10 boards. We've only built out the first four. They meet with me monthly. DA officials held a press conference yesterday to raise awareness about an unsolved murder case involving a killer who is still on the loose. Thousands of workers in SoCal are threatening to go on strike if grocery stores refuse to offer more money, more hours, and better safety standards. We have 40% of our members who are homeless or living in their cars. Cashier Rachel Fournier says Ralph, Pavilion, Bonds, and Albertines have offered a 60 cents per hour raise for each of the next three years. She says that's just not enough. We deserve to at the minimum be able to feed our family and have reliable shelter over Ralph's Director of Corporate Affairs, John Gustavo, says the unions are demanding $5 more per hour, which is a 20% raise. I don't know many companies that are currently offering more than 20% raises to their workers. Negotiations resume tomorrow in Orange County. Corbin Carson, KFI News. And a state assembly committee is going to advance a bill initially written by Republican Kevin Kiley to suspend the, to suspend the gas tax for six months. It has an urgency clause. It will take effect immediately in order to provide folks with some measure of relief. But Kylie no longer supports the bill because Democrats in the Assembly Transportation Committee voted to rewrite the bill and add a tax on oil companies. Republican Assemblyman Vince Fong called it a travesty and a consequence of one-party rule in Sacramento. What is being proposed is that it takes a tax relief bill and it increases taxes. That is completely asinine. The new version of the bill now goes next to the Assembly Committee. We'll get a look at your drive on the 14 in just a moment. If your business has five or more employees and managed to survive COVID, you're eligible to receive a payroll tax rebate of up to $26,000 per employee. It's not a loan. Uh, it's your money. The challenge is getting your hands on this. It's complicated. It's a federal bureaucracy. I mean, on and on. So how do you cut through that red tape? How do you get the dollars? Uh, go to getrefunds.com. Get refunds.